Eratosthenes crater and that's all the surrounding area. I'm showing close-up views of the surface, close-up craters. I hope you all know that the reason why the videos are short, I hope you're still appreciating it. Don't worry, I'll get more than one up. But it's the fact I'm waiting for that cable box to up the speed of my uploads and then we'll get right back to where we left off from. Thanks a lot everyone. Another one coming up today. Uh, while you guys are watching this, I'm making another video right away. Get another one up. So we're going to get our 10 minutes video today. It'll be in two videos. What are we looking at here, my friends? We're in sinus iridum, where the circle is. We're going to go see it um, in live view, close up, pressed up against the Terminator line. And just to give you an idea, yeah, this is uh, probably the reason why uh, China did not land inside of sinus iridum those many years ago. Look at all the structuring. Let's go see a live view of it. The most revealing surface is probably here. Or is it there? It's everywhere, all these lines. Now look at the rectangle over to the right on the bottom there. These are structured objects that are on the surface, not that hard to see. What about the monolithic object top left there with an arrow pointing? White structures, that's what they look like. Over to the right on the top, the walls, everything's there. Whether it be ancient or not, that I may not know, but there is activity, whether they be visiting the moon or not. I'm pretty sure our governments that uh, have been watching these for many, many years to come, probably examining them, right? Here's a meteor going by in deep space. Um, one of the constellations of rare capture, of course, seeing one that huge. But yeah, guys, there are thousands of objects out there roaming around. <laughs> Houston, say again, please. <laughs> 